Welcome back everybody to Rasputin Gaming Presents. This is a special episode I got for you guys today, a special video. By request, I am reviewing cloud gaming services. So I reviewed 11 of the best cloud gaming services for everyone. And I've got some recommendations for you. For every person, obviously, they'll be a little bit different of what works best for you. So real quick, let's talk about what cloud gaming is. So game manufacturers release a list of hardware requirements, you know, termed minimum system requirements and recommended system requirements whenever a game gets launched. And we know all about those, right? So the game requires hardware at least as capable as the minimum requirements to run smoothly. And most graphics intensive games need significant RAM and graphical capabilities from your device. You will undoubtedly require expensive gaming centric hardware to play modern AAA titles, but is there a cheaper alternative? And the answer is yes. Cloud gaming services let you play your favorite games on any device that connects to the internet and comes with a display. Your low-end hardware will never bottleneck your gaming journey with the best cloud gaming services working for you. So how does cloud gaming work? As magical as it may sound, cloud gaming is no magic. <laughs> Remember, CDs and DVDs were the only way to watch a movie back in the day as the internet was not powerful enough to support a movie stream. As the internet speeds increased, it has paved the way for popular streaming services like Netflix, Prime Video, Hulu, and many, many more. Now you can stream any movie from the streaming services servers that may be miles away from your home. Cloud gaming services do just the same, but with your favorite games. Instead of running the game on your hardware, the cloud gaming services run it on their servers backed with high-end graphical memory. The game then responds to your commands and every frame gets streamed directly to your device. The end user experience is very similar to conventional gaming, provided you have a good internet connection. So you're probably asking, how is cloud gaming services different from game servers? So there's a common misconception that cloud gaming services and game servers mean the same thing. And while there are similarities between the two, they are fundamentally very different from each other. Game servers are a service that game manufacturers use to handle users on their platform. All online multiplayer games require game servers to receive user responses and respond to them. So on the other hand though, cloud gaming services act as a consumer centric product that lets you stream any game of your choice. Cloud gaming services typically offer various games from various categories that you can play after paying their subscription fees. So features of cloud gaming services. Let's jump in. So cloud gaming services come with numerous advantages over conventional gaming. Some of the best cloud gaming features include no need for high-end hardware, right? And that's the big one for most of us, right? If you're running top-end PCs, it can get kind of expensive. Or if you're having trouble getting a PS5 these days, for example, you can run on lower-end hardware. You can run the latest games on the oldest devices while paying a single penny on for hardware upgrades. Opting for a cloud gaming service is the best option if you don't have a high-end device but are passionate about gaming. And you wouldn't be here, right, at Rasputin Gaming if you weren't passionate about gaming. Additionally, there's no need to download games. Taking a couple hundred gigabytes of storage space is not a big deal for modern AAA titles. Many of them, probably some of you remember, RDR2 had like a 150 gig download. It was crazy, 180 gigs. That eats up a lot of space on your hard drive. And it takes a lot of bandwidth and a lot of storage space. On the other hand, you won't need to download game files if you play a game with a cloud gaming service. And also, you'll have the most extensive game library at your end, which is practically impossible with convention gaming, unless you're, I don't know, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk or something can afford all the games you want to. So I think the biggest advantage for cloud gaming services for everybody is an independence to game anywhere you want. Gaming devices are generally not portable. Even the most portable gaming laptops 
won't let you game in a subway or a waiting room. Cloud gaming services make gaming extremely portable and give you the independence to game anywhere at any time. So if you're traveling, you don't have to leave your games behind. You can keep on doing your thing. Additionally, you can game on all devices, right? Cloud gaming services let you game through Android, iPhones, Windows, Mac, Linux, and more. These services support cross-platform gaming on devices and the progress gets synced to all the devices logged under the same account. And that's it. You just have to have the same account, right? Doesn't matter which device you're using. You can even continue your game on a smartphone while you don't have access to a bigger screen. It all works. With all that said, let's look at some of the best cloud gaming with their perks and caveats. So first up, and these are in no particular order. Uh, some are going to be better for some people and some will be better for others. And I will just try to give you my opinion on them. So number one, NVIDIA GeForce Now. The NVIDIA GeForce Now provides a wholesome gaming experience with slight input lag, but re and it requires a strong internet connection for smooth gaming. While most cloud gaming services come with their own game library to buy individual games, GeForce Now does not give you the option to purchase games. Big downer. But it's a good service. You can only integrate your games from famous game clients like Steam, Epic, Uplay, and many more of those type that you guys, I'm sure, are fully aware of. You should also note that GeForce Now may not support a few games from the same game clients. GeForce Now also lets you game at a maximum resolution of 1080p at 60 FPS, but the games start with a native setting of 720 and 60 frames per second. The GeForce Now application comes in variants of Android, iOS, and Mac and supports a broad spectrum of hardware. The best part about using the cloud gaming service is extremely low input lag. The lower the input lag makes the gaming experience as seamless and smooth as conventional gaming. All right, number two, which I'm sure everybody has heard of, PlayStation Now. The PlayStation Now is an excellent alternative if you have a PlayStation or you love the PlayStation titles because they've always been known for their exclusives, which brings a lot of people to the PlayStation Network. Uh, the PlayStation Now gaming service comes with a library of over 800 games, all right, big amount that gets unlocked after you pay for their subscription. PlayStation Now then gives you complete control over all the titles from their library. You can either download the games and play them conventionally or stream them using the PS Now servers. So you, conventionally through your PlayStation console, but you can also use the PS Now servers. So it has a perfect blend of legendary titles from PS2 on up and all the way to the modern titles from the PS4 and PS5. The only caveats of using PS Now are its limited cross-platform compatibility. But if you're a solo game person, it shouldn't matter a whole lot. And there's a little bit of a lack in recently launched games. The cloud gaming service, the PS Now gaming service, does not support smartphone OS like Android or iOS and only runs on Windows PC or PlayStation consoles. So that's a little bit jamming up. And PlayStation now has three levels of pay service and we'll get into that in a little bit. The third one, which I don't recommend, but I'll talk about it real briefly is Google Stadia. And we know they're kind of all shutting it down and sending out re um, refunds for their gaming consoles. Uh, Stadia still kind of exists out there as a service, but it's probably not something you ought to be looking at. Now on the other end of at least this kind of service is a service called Shadow. And Shadow isn't exclusively a cloud gaming service. Instead, it's a cloud computing service. So if you're looking for something a little more robust and maybe you wanna do some other stuff, you get liking gaming on Shadow, then you'll jump into the cloud computing. Unlike the other services that allocate a piece of their resources when you want to play a game, Shadow dedicates an entire computer to you. You get a new Windows Pack computer with RTX graphics, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and one gigabyte per second download speeds. You can tweak all the settings however you would like. And the best part about Shadow is that it supports every game that can run on a Windows machine. 
The streaming quality input lag are phenomenally brilliant and give the user a best-in-class experience. Shadow's monthly subscription is a little bit on the higher side, but it's one of the best cloud gaming services due to its fantastic feature set. So it's something definitely to think about. So a newer ad addition to the list is Amazon Luna. So Luna is quite a bit <laughs> limited because it's a it's a newer service. So you you don't have uh, access to a very big game library yet. And it only has what I would call a decent gaming experience. So this would probably be one of the uh, lower rungs for you. Um, I wouldn't recommend using this until you know another year or two goes by and we have a better idea of what it's actually going to be able to do. And if you want to access some of your some of your other games, you can add like your Ubisoft Plus to your subscription, your Amazon Luna subscription or not, so you can add some of their titles. The next one up is a service called PlayKey. And rather than just using centralized servers for its cloud gaming services, PlayKey uses blockchain technology. So it's kind of a win-win service for both crypto miners and for gamers. So if you're looking to do other things besides gaming, this is your opportunity. You can either let your device mine cryptocurrency by being part of a blockchain network, or you can just use the good old cloud gaming service. PlayKey servers come with an NVIDIA GeForce 1080 Ti with the 3584 CUDA 11 gigabytes, i7 four cores, and 20 gigabytes of RAM for the best cloud gaming experience. The service runs great on all kinds of devices that have more than one gigabyte of RAM and a one and a half gigahertz processor. Currently though, Play PlayKey does not support mobile devices and only runs on desktop operating systems. Next up, similar to Shadow is a, a service called Paperspace. And it's another cloud computing service that has gaming being a part of the bigger picture. So just like Shadow, Paperspace assigns you a Windows computer after you subscribe to a plan and lets you use the remote PC as per your wish. You can use it however you'd like. The best part about Paperspace's ability to choose your own hardware, you can select relatively less expensive hardware if you wish to play lighter games and vice versa. So you got some options that Shadow doesn't give you with Paperspace that will help you with your costs. You'll have to download your games or integrate them using your existing game clients like Steam or Epic or other ones. This adds to the actual cost and effort you have to spend to play a game. So paper space is suitable for users with a significant game library already attached to their game clients. The downside to using paper space, right, is obviously is having to buy games on top of buying a cloud gaming service because that tends to be a ripoff. Now you're getting doubled up for it for all your expenses. So that's the caveat to that one. But it has good streaming experience and it's up to 4K gaming are some of the perks of using paper space. You also get the option to hourly rent the gaming hardware. Number eight, Blacknut. This is a highly affordable cloud gaming service with a reasonably easy to use application interface. The application comes with a two week free trial to let you get used to it. So that's a key thing there. Most of the other ones don't have, uh, if they do have a free trial, it's not usually two weeks, but with Blacknut, you get two weeks. Blacknut markets its products as a family-centric entity. Uh, hence, you'll find features like multiple profile support and parental controls. And you can use it on a variety of platforms, Windows, Mac, Amazon Fire TV, Linux, Android, and much, much more. Uh, number nine, Rainway. What happens when you don't want to use your gaming PC every time you want to have a gaming session? So Rainway comes to the rescue by, by making your PC act as a host and streaming your PC games to your mobile devices. So you don't have to be at home, right? It's like setting up your PC as your server hub, which probably works for some of you, especially if you have to travel, things like that. You must have a gaming PC and games already installed on it to use the platform. But for those of you that travel, that might be the way to go. Because Rainway becomes a game changer for the large niche that does have both those things. A high-end gaming PC and games already installed. Because now it treats your P 
PC as the gaming hub and you can stream to mobile uh, your mobile devices. The streaming quality is considerably better than several cloud gaming services that have mediocre hardware at the back end. Your internet quality obviously still plays a significant role in your streaming quality, but when the conditions are right, you'll have a great experience. Number 10, NetBoom. NetBoom offers a full-fledged cloud gaming experience with all significant AAA titles on mobile devices. You get support for Android, iOS, and web browsers to stream your favorite game. Yes, web browsers. The NetBoom gaming interface perfectly handles PC games using touch input through their speedy, specially <laughs> designed interface. Sorry. It even comes with the support of a customizable virtual keyboard during gameplay. The constantly growing game library includes popular titles like GTA 5, Far Cry 5, FIFA, Hitman, and many, many more. The best part about NetBoom is that playing games is a straightforward process. Even a tech novice can play games that requires no prior installation or setting up before launching the game. The gaming quality is good, especially if you have access to the game with good internet connection, which obviously you'll always be part of the equation, right? Good internet connection. Number 11, and the last but definitely not the least, is Boosteroid. Boosteroid is a browser-based cloud gaming service that lets you play a ton of famous AAA titles remotely. Setting up Boosteroid is a highly convenient process. You just need to lock in, log in to their website and start playing. Uh, you're off and running uh, because it's a browser-based cloud gaming. The process involves no installation or setup process, and you also don't need to download anything before playing. The cloud gaming service offers cross-platform support for PC, Mac, laptop, tablets, and more through the web browser. Boostroid partners with Huawei, Intel, Asus, NVIDIA, and more to offer a decent gaming experience. You can easily play games on the highest settings, the 1080p settings, with 15 megabyte connection. The only downside of the platform lies in its packet handling. Yeah. So Boostroid is a browser-based service. It cannot handle packages like a dedicated application leading to sudden frame drops, and it leads to stutters as well. So that's something to be careful of. But it's the easiest service to use because you just log into your account and you're off and running through the browser. So that's a brief synopsis of all the services. In part two of this video, which is I'll do again, we'll go over the ones I think are best. We'll talk about their cost structures and hopefully you can make a real solid decision from there. And I'm probably going to just do four, maybe five of these 11 that I think uh, offer the best value to the gamers out there. So don't forget to friend and follow us on Twitch. If you're on YouTube, like the videos, subscribe to the channel. Much appreciated. Glad having you guys along. Stick around for the next video, part two of this cloud gaming um, services review. And we will see you then. Stay safe and take care.